Josh, thank you. We now want to head back out to News 2's Octavia Mitchell, who's live at Bell Hall Elementary for us this morning. Octavia, Charleston County School District, the second largest in the entire state. A lot of kids headed back to the school this morning. Good morning, Octavia. Riley, the second largest school in the school district in the state, and we're live here at Bell Hall Elementary in Mount Pleasant. And I tell you what, Riley, students living near here, Bell Hall, they have no choice but to be on time for school today because I'll tell you why that rooster was doing his job this morning. So you have to be on time because that rooster was on it. So excited this morning to be here at Bell Hall Elementary School, one of 86 schools in Charleston County School District. The district will welcome nearly 50,000 students back to school today. And I am honored to be joined now by Bell Hall Elementary School principal, Mr. Kevin Conklin. Good morning, Mr. Conklin. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Exciting day here at Bell Hall. Tell us about your school. Uh, you're right, it is a very exciting first day. We love the first day because we've missed everybody over the summer. We want the parents and the students to come back. Um, Bell Hall, we're very fortunate. We are a community school, very traditional. Um, the parental support is just spectacular. We have sometimes, it feels like as many parents in the building as students, which is great. Um, we've been here for, well, this is going to be our 35th year in this location, and just last year we got this beautiful new landscaping, so we're looking pretty good and we're excited. I tell you what, you need to make that rooster your mascot. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat when a rooster is across the street from an elementary school. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What are you looking forward to this new school year? Well, we've got a few new faces on staff, so that's always exciting. Um, and again, the parents coming back, they were here. The teachers were certainly here a lot last week, even though with all the weather that we had. But the parents were already here getting things ready. So the, the kiddos are going to walk into something spectacular. First day of school, it's just exciting. You can tell them they're uh -huh, excited. Uh -huh. And what is your message to students and parents as you begin a new school year? Well, Bell Hall, we always talk about rigor and relationships. Rigor is we teach hard, we teach all day, and we want to make sure that the children are growing and learning. In terms of relationships, it's kind of like what I've been saying. Our community is so involved here, and that's our strength. All righty. We need to come back and feature Bell Hall as a cool school, maybe. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Mr. You. Conklin. Busy day ahead, but an exciting day. Exactly. Thank you again. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now this morning we have team coverage on the first day of school in Charleston County. News 2 Sophia Radabaugh is standing by live for us this morning at Hersey Montessori in North Charleston. Sophia, how's it going there? Octavia, we have a rooster too. I'm telling you, it's right to my right and it's really waking me up today too. I think I might need a rooster to replace my alarm clock. Well, the sun is coming up gradually and we're seeing a lot of the teachers come into the parking lot. I'm starting to get so excited. I love the first day of school and I also have to mention it's my niece's first day of kindergarten here at Malcolm Hersey. So y'all y'all might see me cry on live TV when she rolls up for her first day of kindergarten. Anyway, so Hersey was supposed to open last year, but construction was delayed. CCSD wanted to make sure the building was safe and passed all the inspections before opening. And it definitely paid off today because this building is absolutely beautiful and it's ready to go, ready to welcome those hundreds of students that are gonna walk in today. Now, CCSD held a press conference yesterday that we covered. They touched on things like the CCSD hotline available for parents to ask questions at any times. Also, bus routes. Leaders say they added 18 new bus routes this year. So every year we take a close look at um, the numbers of students on the buses as well as where they're living, and that would potentially require additional routes. Another problem for another uh, demand signal for the additional routes is the traffic, and we all face that each and every day. And I ask uh, our parents to put themselves in our shoes and say, hey, you got to take the same route every day. You got to leave at the same exact time and you're, you're, in many cases, going to run into some traffic. And a very positive thing for CCSD as they're heading into this next school year. This is amazing. They were able to fill every single teacher vacancy that they had last year. That was over 500 positions, so definitely means a lot for the district. Now, live in North Charleston, Sophia Radabaugh, back to you, Octavia. All right, thank you, Sophia, reporting live for us from North Charleston this morning. And coming up, we're going to have a live interview with the 
Charleston County School District Superintendent Anita Huggins. She just arrived a few moments ago, so we'll be talking to her soon. And while Charleston County School District students will head back to school today, I want to tell you about three other school districts across the low country who had to delay their first day due to Debbie and its impacts. And we're talking about Dorchester School District 2 and Dorchester School District 4. They will head back to school on tomorrow and Berkeley County will head back to school on Thursday. Now, district officials say we want to they want to remind you that that is all contingent on the weather situation because they're still dealing with flooding in those counties. So they want parents to continue to monitor the district's website and social media platforms. And of course, you can count on News 2 to keep you updated on any school changes or, or any schedule changes on, our, on air and online and on our website, countonto.com. Reporting in Mount Pleasant this morning, we're going to send it back to Raleigh at the desk. Octavia, looking forward to coming back to you in just a few minutes to hear from the superintendent. Thank you.